Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. This is Tan here with you. So in today's vlog, I'll show you guys how to replace your outside rear view mirror's indicator lights. So today I'll show you how to replace this indicator light of the outside rear view mirror. As you can see right now, it's not working. As you can see, the hazard lights are on. This indicator light is working perfectly fine. The right hand side's indicator light stopped working because as you can see here, there's a small crack here which occurred in a minor accident. It was working fine for a year. Then I think water got inside the indicator light. So it now stopped working completely. To get to this indicator light, you'll have to remove first this plastic portion. Then you'll have to remove this mirror. And only after that, you can remove this indicator. So I'll show you all the tools that is required for this DIY. So first you'll need this prying tool for removing the mirror and the plastic portion of the side view mirror. So all this four cost me around 250 rupees from Amazon. I'll leave the links in the description below. And secondly, you'll need the ORVM indicator. So in my case, it's the right hand side and this is the right hand side indicator. And the part number for this is 87624-1V000. It cost me 1,264 rupees. I purchased it from Budmo. And then you'll need a star screwdriver and you'll need a electric flathead screwdriver. So let's remove the uh, indicator. So this is how the brand new indicator looks like. This here is the connector portion. I think this portion we have to screw it together with the ORVM housing. So the first step is to pry open the side view mirror with the help of the prying tool. So let's get to that first. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, say they Guard guys, I got it. Yeah. Like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta. That's it. The mirror was held by these clips over here. And the mirror just came off easily with the help of this prying tool. So next step is to remove this plastic cover. So let's get to that. Let go to see the magic happen. They got is a quick change. So we like a min face. I'll just buy the new watch. Time to make my wrist rain. So we'll be using two prying tools to remove this cover. Keep elevating me. That's it, it's off. They got his quick chance, so we like a mid face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist bang. To see the world gravity keeps elevating me. Born in the darkness, vibe of the light. If this ever die, I'm a fight for my life. Keep fighting on, as I keep fighting on. We keep moving up, you can't hold us up. So I am up above the clouds. So I, I can't see the ground. So I, I ain't coming down. So no, I ain't ever coming down. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got this a quick change, so we like a min face. I'll just buy the new watch, time to make my. So that's it guys, I removed the plastic cover out. There were several locks in this, there was one lock here, one here, and there's one here, and there's one over here. So once you get this removed, I'll show you the next step. So the next step is to remove the side indicator from this housing and for that it is held by a star screw over here. You need to loosen one of these star screws so that this side indicator comes out. So let's get to that. As you can see, water is dripping from inside here. Just look at this. There's water dripping from inside. And that's the reason why this indicator light got spoiled. See, there's a lot of water inside. So now the next step is to remove this connection from this indicator light over here. I think some water got into this indicator connector as well. Anyway, let's try to get it out. So 
So I'm not able to release this uh, wiring from the <coughs> indicator. What I'm planning to do right now is, I'm planning to use the axle blade to cut this plastic portion off and then maybe free the, uh, free the indicator wire. The zero of gravity keeps elevating me So I am up by the clouds So I, I can't see the ground So I, I coming down So no, I, I am coming down Finally, I got it out. <laughs> I'm not sure if this wiring worked because water actually got into it. I'm not sure if this is also spoiled. But let's see and then part of this wiring is also cut here. I need to insulate this as well. So this is how the old indicator looks like. It's all broken and leaking water. For those of you who want to know what brand this is, this is made by the company Lumax. I'll show you, you can't see it in the old one. I'll show you the new indicator. So the side mirrors cover is made by this brand called Lumax. I hope you can see it. <coughs> Now before we fix it back, uh, let's connect the new indicator to the wiring socket and see if it's working or not. Wow, <clears throat> and the indicator is working perfectly fine. So now let's just remove the sticker off from here. Okay, so now we'll do the reverse of everything. We'll just connect it all back together. So that's it, the indicator is screwed back in place. Let's see if it's working properly. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. So now we can replace the mirror. Now before replacing the mirror back in place, you need to grease these two portions, these two metal portions. Because when I removed it, there was some grease on it. But when I cleaned it off, I wiped off the grease by mistake. So I need to reapply grease on these two metal portions. So I applied the grease, now we'll put it back in place. Next we will fit the plastic cladding back in place. So that's it guys. Now before you wrap up, just make sure that the electronic function of your rear view mirror is working fine. And uh, that's it. 
If you guys found this DIY useful, please do hit the like button. Do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done already. And until next time, we stand signing out. Bye-bye.